Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Reynolds Outdoors. And today we're going to do a quick little video on just uh, just an overview style video. We haven't done one of these in a while. And we uh, But first, RIP to DMX. Pouring out for the homies. Yeah, of course. <laughs> RIP DMX. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, Today's video is going to be a quick overview style video. Hand down one a while. We've been doing a lot of top three shotguns and whatever, and, uh, so we just wanted to focus on the rifle that everybody seems to be talking about lately. We're still getting millions of questions about and having a hard time keeping in. So this is a six-hour M400 Tread. Now, and when a lot of people when they hear Sig, they think, "Oh my gosh, um, Sig spell with a dollar sign, right? It's, they're so expensive." Blah blah blah, but. These guns are actually not um, as expensive as you might think. I don't know if some of you may have seen these hanging up at your local gun shop, seen them online, and so we're going to try to hopefully, you know, shed some light on them and tell you a couple quick key features. We're not going to go over, you know, way too much and make this a 30-minute video, but um, this is actually SIG's more entry, their entry-level gun, their only DI gun or direct impingement for those of you who don't know, because um, mostly they do piston. ARs, and in fact, I featured one of my rifles in a previous video, which was one of the piston guns. Um, but that's what they're known for. But this is, in fact, a direct impingement, so it doesn't use piston rods. It uses what the expanding gases from the spent cartridge to actually cycle the gun. Um, enough of that. So, like always, we're gonna. Um, I'm gonna start at the tip, head to the butt. Um, if I may, uh, copy flannel daddy on that. So instead of a standard bird cage, uh, SIG opted to use the the tri lug or the tri <laughs> flash hider design. So which is cool, you know, hey you want to keep the flash down, shooting low light situations, you're running NVGs and all that good stuff. You don't wanna you don't want a whole lot of muzzle flash. So that's you know take that for what it is. Um, Moving on down to the rail, obviously, and these do come off, by the way. <laughs> these are not, that's one of the first questions we get it's when customers It's just product see it. placement. It, yes. It's no more than rail covers, and they pop right off. That's They're right. Not permanent. That's right. They do pop off, and uh, or you can leave them on and just uh, and just rock the tread, man, you know. No, no step on snake. So, so, yeah, it is M-Lock rail. Now, one th criticism I personally, I would have is, it, I mean, and, I, and I'm sure Sig would say, well, we're trying to keep the price down, you know, we don't want it, we want to keep it, you know, on just over a thousand or under a thousand, wherever you might find it for. That's usually the ballpark they're going to run in, um, just under a K or just over. So they, you know, they only cut out where, I guess, you, they think that most people would run any type of accessories, you know, foregrips, flashlights, laser beams, all that good stuff. So um, pecs, all that, all those fun things. And... I mean, and it does add a tad, a tad bit of weight, but not, not you know, it's not a boat anchor. It's definitely lighter than, than a piston AR. Yeah, for sure. So, um, and it does have a, I don't know if you can see, a stainless steel barrel with a one and eight twist. Now, Michael, why is a, what, talk, explain real quick about twist rate and why a one and eight twist, you know, why not one and seven or one and 10? Well, what's, what's that doing? Yeah, well, the twist rate is gonna be how fast it spins a bullet essentially. Um, some grains of bullets will work better with different twist rates. Uh, typically, one to eight is better uh, for, for an all around at five, five, six range. Mm -hmm. um, as far as get you, get the optimization um, at certain ranges, it's just that seems to be the best overall. Now, like I said, I mean, if you're building a precision gun for five, five, six, and you're wanting to shoot 500 yards. Depending on your grain, you might want to give it a different barrel, but I mean, for an AR, I mean, one day, it's, that's perfect. You know, it, that's all you could ask for, really. Yeah, if you want to throw big boulders down range, you know, yeah. 1 7 shooting 70 <laughs> grain, 5.56, five, yeah, but that's kind of a do it all twist yeah. rate. Everybody's kind of, all the kids are going for the 1 and 8 twist, so um, they do use a very low profile. I believe they refer to it as a micro, but it's just a micro gas block, but it's, it's extremely low profile. Um, gas block in there. That's how they fit this nice uh, free float uh, M-lock rail on the rail, and it is 100% free floated, which most of these you know full length rails are going to be. So um, it's not going to mess with the harmonics of the barrel when firing. That's you know that's coming straight from Six Hour. If you go watch their videos and all that, they're going to tell you they're going to give you all the 
the super awesome scientific facts about why that's important. But essentially, it's it's locked onto the barrel nut of the gun. It's not touching the barrel, so um, it's not going to hurt your accuracy uh, when putting rounds down range. So. All right, so we covered everything pretty much up front. The uh, three-prong flash hider, stainless steel barrel, one and eight twist, M-lock rail. Uh, so let's move down to the receiver. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. Now, one big thing for all you um, wrong-handed people, I mean left-handed, uh, it, it does have complete ambi control. Well, the safety selector and uh, magazine release on both sides there. So that's pretty cool to get in. Um, and the gun at this price point too. I mean, you, you don't usually see stuff like that. And that's something um, Sig, you know, threw on there for you. So if that applies to you, you sh if you're a lefty, I'm sorry, it's it's a tough world for you. But Sig made it just a little bit easier with the M400 tread. Um, and also, I mean, trigger nothing to scream home about. I mean, no. it's it's you know, it's not a it's not a Timney or a, a Geisley or anything you know high speed like that. But you know, hey. 200 bucks or 300 bucks, whatever, gets you, gets you a nice trigger. But it is decent. It gets the job done. Um, and one really cool fact feature, and we have a sling out here, uh, cross tack single point. Um, in fact, it's their v, v point sling. Um, it does have the QD um, receivers right there on built into the receiver, so it will receive you know quick detach slings. And if you want to run a two point, which um, is my favorite, all you got to do is add you a little. QD attachment point up there on the M lock rail, and you and you run you a two point sling. So that's a that's cool. Sig, you know, including that also at this price point. Um, oh, and um, six hour. This is their proprietary pistol grip. Got their name stamped on it. Very. Um, it's got a nice aggressive texture. Not too aggressive, but it does. You know, it does feel better than just your standard GI pistol grip. That you'd find on on other guns, and I do have a, another gun that's just under 800 bucks. That I'll compare it in just a second to kind of show you what you're getting for just you know two to three hundred dollars more. But um, anything that I miss on the receiver, Micah? I don't mean to be a video hog here, but no. I mean as far as receiver, yeah, set fit it. Um, you know, ambi stuff all over. Uh, you do have the enlarged uh, bolt catch right there, bolt catch, bolt release, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's very easy to. Stop that bolt. bolt uh, the, the ping pong <laughs> bolt letter goer, ping pong paddle, as I call it. Um, so that's very nice to have that enlarged. You know, it's not, this isn't, I don't think it's game changers, but I mean, when you're comparing rifles pound to pound, it's nice to have little features like that. It's nice mm -hmm. to have the ambi, have the enlarged stuff there. Um, you know, if you wanted to do that to another rifle, you're going to have to make a lot of changes and you know end up probably paying for what this rifle costs anyway so yeah. definitely something to keep in mind there i mean as far as a receiver i think you hit it on the head there uh you know like you said qd qd uh points right there and you're very important forward assist <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i mean you know no rifle is complete without it <laughs> so now yeah, that's another whole nother video whether or not a forward assist is anyway somebody gonna go down that road um <laughs> Um, all right, moving on. Buffer tube. It's got a buffer tube. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy <laughs> there. No, no uh, <laughs> nothing. You know, nothing really out of the ordinary or special about it. Uh, six position uh, Magpul SLK or slick stock, which is nice. I like it. Not, it. Again, better than better than just a plain Jane GI stock. And I do have a comparison gun here. And a lot of times, it, you know. In today's, you know, 2021, uh, with everything that's been going on since last year, and it's only getting weirder. Um, yeah, we ha you have seen spikes in ammo prices and you know, the lack there of ammo, um, and also, you know, hikes in gun prices across the country. We're trying our best. You know, as long as you know people aren't going up on us, manufacturers, distributors, we're gonna, we're not gonna go up on you guys. So we're trying our best to keep keep prices, you know, the same, but. You know, this gun will run you anywhere. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P 15. You can see it's pretty pretty basic. Um, you got the A2 style furniture on it. It does have the, you know, the it doesn't have the A-frame or the fixed front sight post gas block, but um, standard GI stock, standard GI looking pistol grip. Nothing, nothing too bizarre. Um, no ambi controls. Very, very just plain rifle. And this one's running around anywhere from 
you know, seven and a half to just over 800, depending on where you're shopping. So with this gun being, let's just say 800, and this one being, you know, 12 to 1300. Um, I was right at a thousand. Actually, oh yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. This one's just right at a thousand. Yeah. So you know, or just oh, let's just say just over a thousand dollars. I mean, just you know, you, you're getting an M lock rail and you know QD points, Magpul stock, you know, super high speed six hour pistol grip. Um, I'd say that's a that's pretty pretty nice. I mean, because if you were to buy a two hundred dollar or three hundred dollar rail and have to and get another gas block or whatever, you know, I mean, you're you're at that price point or more. Um, and, yeah, and that's what I try to tell customers a lot is. You know, the MP15, I mean, it's definitely nothing to scoff at. Great rifle, great uh, place to start at. But if you want to do this rifle, what this SIG already has on there, you're going to spend well over a thousand. Um, Absolutely. Because, I mean, like, like Seth was saying, you've got uh, the aftermarket stock, pistol grip, the full length rail with M lock, uh, the tri lug on the end, um, AMBI everything, extended controls in the back. Man, it's as far as bang for your buck. It, it's a, it's hard to beat. I mean, it, it really is. Um, I think it's definitely one of the best options in right that thousand point, just for being bang for your buck. Um, we'll, we're gonna do a video on another rifle here soon that'll be kind of it's it's big competitor. But um, yeah, overall, man, I, I've been very impressed with it, especially the quality overall. Right that thousand point, it's it's sweet. It yeah. really is. So yeah, that's it. I mean, I think we pretty much hit hit all the key points, and um, you know the the three prong. I said tri lug earlier too. They're gonna drag us in the comment section for that one. Uh, three prong flash hider. <laughs> it's not tri lug. Don't don't <laughs> yeah. throw a tri lug suppressor on that. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Tri lug, whatever. Yeah, whatever. You're gonna... <laughs> no, it's three prong. I don't know. Words are hard sometimes. <laughs> We've been here. We're here nine hours a day, and we do these videos at the end of the day. So give us a, give us a break. Um, so yeah, and guys, just real quick, um, we're over 2,000 subscribers. I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video. Sorry, things are crazy. Um, we matched shirts on purpose today, so now that, <laughs> I just realized that. Um, so yeah, we're over 2,000 subscribers. I never thought pe that many people would care about the stupid things that I have to say. Um, I guess maybe when I brought Mike on, that that, that sent us through the ceiling. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thank you all for for watching and um, and commenting, I'm sorry. I know we don't get to all your comments. I, I thought YouTube's not easy. You think you think yeah, I'll just go through all the comments, and then when you get flooded with them, it's like oh boy. But um, I'm gonna try to do better on that. I'm you know I'm not gonna make any promises, but we're gonna do our best to try to keep up with it. Micah handles all the Instagram, and remember to follow. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram for our new stuff, our ammo, new rifles, new arrivals. Follow us, like us. I mean, I was gonna plug you, but okay. I'll plug myself. <laughs> I bet you. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, again, guys, thank you all. And for those of you who shop around here, thank you for your uh, patience with us. I know we, we special orders and stuff have been, you know, very just aren't happening. Uh, where you know we, we can't. People ask, can you order us guns? No. <laughs> We're trying our best to get. You know, we can put you down for things that may come in and give you a call, but. Um, and this is our low customers YouTube calm down. I'm not trying to sell things on YouTube They don't monetize us anyways because uh, we're uh, quote unquote harmful content um, Yeah, I mean this is how harmful is this uh, maybe for maybe harmful. Yeah for harmful fuds. fuds. Yep. Sorry fuds, but um <laughs> yeah, Anywho, we may have to do a video on fuds later because some of our audiences might be like what's a, what's a fud? Customer comments and you know, <laughs> yeah, new yeah. Mars of a gun salesman, but yeah, yeah. Thanks, uh, gun gun shop cringe. So now we're now we're just rambling. We're just freestyling. So um, <laughs> this is the after show. Yeah, this is the after show. Well, all right, guys. Uh, and you got anything else? Think that about hits it. Like I said, we're we're gonna be doing a video here soon on a big competitor of the Sig that is extremely popular. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and then we'll do a versus video on them. See which we like best, and which you know which you should pick. And which is better? Uh, can they see the wall of two, two, three we have right there? Somebody said in the comments, like, "Oh man, we know this video is old because it does. It has all that ammo in there. We're getting some stuff, uh, but it's 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 still few and far between. So uh, we're trying our best. So, um, anyways, all right, guys. Well, I got nothing else for you, Micah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. R.I.P. D.M.X.